Happy Monday. Um, right, hello everyone. Um, we've got me today. We've had a bit of a swap around, so you've got me today. Um, and I'm going to be doing a little bit of firework today. Um, wow, good morning, Rachel. Um, right, I'm just going to get everything nice and straight. Um, we've got some, a really cool project today for you. It's really fun. Um, something you can do with sort of um, anyone of any age as well. So if you're in school holidays, whether you're sitting your kids, your grandkids, friends, kids, anything like that, this is something that you could actually sit down and um, do with your children or anybody else as well. So it's going to be a fun morning. Uh, good morning, Star. Good morning, Jan. Um, so just a question. How's the weather for you today? Because here it's wet, grey, but still really humid and muggy. So what a great summer we're having, hey? <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just going to give you a little moment to come on in uh yeah on well, monday again already i think we're about i think we're about halfway through the holidays now halfway through people halfway through <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh. oh i love this uh, good morning camille another yucky day there as well oh, it's horrible isn't it uh hello from wet welsh pool uh wet for worst eyes uh hi charlotte hi shirley hi julie and from a wet yorkshire yeah hey natalie <laughs> i'm bringing the sunshine mm, i don't think so <laughs> i think i took i think i brought the rain down to uh or up i'm not quite sure the direction up to uh to um clacton as well um because i went i went down and saw um the uh, totally beat over the weekend and i think i brought the bad weather with me <laughs> um We'll watch the replay grandkids are here hi barbara um well again this is again age dependent but this is something that hopefully a project you'll be able to have fun at, uh, and do with the kids as well morning elaine oh wow well, okay so shall i show you what we're doing um i'll pop the camera in so we can see now um i have got quite a few different variations of this project um i've only made one up but what I'm going to do is make a couple up during this live so you can see how um, it's quite free form and how you can just sort of have a bit of fun with this and how it could look different. Hi, Lucy. Surprise. <laughs> yeah, we did a little swap around. So you got me today and you got me on Wednesday as well. Um, and I'm doing the B Club on Wednesday as well, Lucy. What are we doing? Oh, we're doing a wire wrapped pendant in that one. So that'd be fun. Morning, Sharon. Oh, I love that. Oh, I'm going to have to show this message. How lovely is this? Good morning, Laura, and creative bead deniers. I love that. I love that. That's fab. Uh, morning. I uh, must put some of these up. Um, we've got very wet Accrington, Lancashire. We've got, um, yeah, it's not nice anywhere, is it really? got you lots this week you have you have Lucy but then I don't think I think I'm doing a few lives this month but I'm only doing one of the bead clubs so um okay we've been Lucy we've been down me and uh, Kitty and Sam we've been putting our heads together some very cool projects so I'm really excited for what we've got coming up hi Chantel um I'm not sure what that means I'm guessing it's something about will it be in French um, ooh, oh, my, my daughter's good at French, but I will, uh, I'll ask her, <laughs> um, will it be in French? Probably not if that's what you're asking, but um, you can put subtitles on. Um, morning, Margaret. Um, morning, uh, not seeing you on lives as yet, but excited, Margie and Richie. Oh, well, hopefully I won't disappoint, no pressure there. <laughs> uh, I forgot Natalie was having a, off having a nice break till I saw you. Yeah. Yeah, you got me, but it's fine. So let's go ahead and put the uh, camera on so you can see the lovely kits that we have got coming up today. Let me do some swapping around. Boop. Okay. <laughs> I kind of, um, let me see if I can get my daughter to come down and translate because she's doing GCSE French, so she should be able to translate for me um but this is funny um let me just um ask hang on one one second 
Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, so these are the kits that we've got, and this is the project that we are going to be doing. Now, these agate, the, these slabs are really, really lovely to work with. Hi from South Australia. Hi, Sylvia. Um, I love this. Can you come down for a second? Why? This is she's such a typical teenager, my child, honestly. Why do you need me, Mum? It's because I told her to not disturb me because I'm teaching today. So don't disturb me. Okay, so this is the project that we've got. And the idea of this is that it's a pendant that can be reversible. Um, so magnifique. I love that. Magnificent. Um, Kayla, I need a translator. For me, come here. French. We, but you just stay out of shop. Out of shop yeah, why? because I'm I'm live on Facebook. Um, <laughs> uh, what does this say? Je vais quand me regarder. Right. So I can't come and see that without being in shop. You're gonna have to bite a bullet. And well, show off your child. well, no, it's not that. But okay, okay. Excuse the child in the corner, people. What's this? She's in French. Yes. Yeah. She's in France. Oh, is that what she's just saying? I think. Are you just saying, Chantal, are you just saying that you're in France? Well, what's the publication? Well, yeah. Oh, publication. I thought it was a public. Sorry, I can't read very well. Um, No, I don't know that one. Okay, don't but worry. But that one's the don't same. Don't worry. That one's, I'm the same when I watch. <laughs> I'm the same when I watch. Okay. Go. Thank you. Well, I'm directly trans. Thank you. Directly. Bye. Okay. No good to me. <laughs> So we're going to be doing this one. <laughs> Bless her, Lucy. Honestly, that's doing GCSE French. That's, that's a concern. Um, <laughs> morning, Gwen. I'm still waiting for my arrowheads to come to here in Hawaii. Oh, Charlotte, hopefully they'll arrive soon because those arrowheads were, I love them so much. Um, okay, so let's get down to business. This is the project we're doing today. You can see we've got all these lovely colorways. So this is the one that's in the gold, but we have got lots of different options for you. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, put it on to share the screen. So you can see, yes, we're in school holiday. So my children are around, but don't worry. They are not emerging from their bedrooms because it's too, too, too early. Um, Okie dokie, let's morning kim hi how are you don't worry we're just getting started now so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to share my screen i'm going to show you where you can purchase these from and give you some information so bear with me one moment so these are going to be done um separately okay so we're going to be selling these separately um so you can buy the why you can buy the bead but what's good about that is it gives you the option to kind of mix and match your colors so you might want to put a black wire onto this lovely red stone um, and so on. So these are, we've got a few different shapes and sizes. So I am just going to go ahead and find this for you on the um, page. So I'll share it. Okay, I'm on it. There we go. Right. So... it share it there we go perfect oh it's been a bit weird why is it doing that right so what you want is this this one just here <clears throat> so you go to tatydebeads.co.uk facebook tutorials and then we're going on to sorry what would do we call it it's the wire wrapping gemstone pendants morning mina morning alice sorry i didn't um so we're on this one, right wrapping. There isn't going to be a PDF with this one because it's quite self-explanatory. We will, of course, have this video to refer back to. This is going to be available on YouTube. Um, obviously, as some of you are watching on there now, and it will also be on the on this page here that I'm showing you, um, as well as the Facebook page. So, you know, you've got easy reference on it. But I'm sure you people, um, a lot of you people already know this, but, um, you know. So you can purchase the um, beads themselves for £2.50. Um, and we've got like a nice variety here. And obviously you've got the wire choices as well. And they're £2.50 for a 0.6 and you get six meters. So you can see here, you can put them together. Um, you've got uh, black, we've got broad champagne. 
we've got a lovely rose gold which is lovely sort of salmony pink we've got um the copper colors we've got um gold peach i mean gosh there's so many so this is a really great sort of pick and mix kind of kit so you can really tailor this to um to your style thank you lucy for sharing that link that's really appreciated um morning joanne oh very wet in coventry today this make looks lovely okay lovely i gave these they really are rachel sure. they're really beautiful so we've got here which is the one i've used as the sample you've got the honey jade wave discs so you know, there's some are two pound fifty, some are one pound seventy five. Um, you've got the uh, serpentine wave disc here. These are just a little bit smaller than these chunky agates. These agates have got a really beautiful weight to them. Um, so you've got the red agate, which is two pound fifty. The pink band agate, which I believe is again two pound fifty. Um, you've got these lovely. And what's great is obviously these are all going to look different in individual. The picture can only give you an example of one. We, these are genuine gemstones, so these are all going to have their own individual markings on them. Uh, you've got the cream band agate, which I believe would be this one. Um, and then you've um, got the green. Oh, actually, I think this is the green. Um, and then, obviously, so, you know, there's so much choice here. And you've got the black band here. So loads and loads. The pink agate looks beautiful, doesn't it? And I, I might use, I'm going to actually have a go at seeing how many of these we can wrap today, just to show you how quick and easy this is. Um, <clears throat> you can see here we have enough wire to make probably two, maybe three um, of the pendants, depending on how heavy you go with the wire work. Um, but you can definitely get two per bead. So you could, one, one reel of wire would get you two beads made up. Okay. So as I said, have a little look on the website, have a little um, peruse that you can see. You've got these lovely chunky agates. And I'll explain to you why we chose the combinations that we chose in a moment. So um, you'll see here, that as this is here as i said to you it's um reversible so it's going to look lovely both directions this is really great to get you comfortable working with wire you know if you're a little bit um apprehensive or a little bit new to working with wire this is a really great way to help sort of like take that fear away because we're just going to relax we're just going to have a bit of fun and just see where those wires go so why did we choose 0.6 I chose 0.6 because it's easy to manipulate, but still strong enough to give you structure. Um, and it's going to be nice and easy for you to create these lovely fluid. Oh, here we go. Um, swirls and decorations that you can see here. I'm going to show you how you can kind of decorate the top if you wanted to on both sides. Um, you know, so we can do this. Now, the other reason that we chose the 0.6 and also why we chose these beads in particular is because of the drill hole. These beads are beautiful. They're really got lovely weights. They're a great focal bead. But you can see here that they've got a lovely drill hole. And that's really great when you're working with this because it means we can put several pieces of wire inside this bead and actually be able to work with it. So some other beads can be a little bit restricting if they've got a smaller drill hole. So that is the other reason that we chose these beads in particular. You'll see here, even with this one, this one's a little bit of a smaller drill hole. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll do one with the chunky agate and one with this just to show you. But again, because we chose the 0.6 wire, you will still be able to get a couple of pieces of wire into there. So this is why I've chosen the wires and the uh, beads that we have. Um, if you are looking at starting out, I would definitely probably advise that you go with one of the chunkier agate beads purely because it's got a bit of a bigger surface to work on, slightly larger drill holes. So um, if you if you want to have a go and you're a little bit like, oh, what beads should I go for? I'm a bit new to this. I would probably advise to go for one of the, the chunkier beads because you've got that larger drill hole, a little bit easier to handle. Good morning, Angela. I like the pink agate, the bang magnets look lovely. They are, aren't they? Um, more than everyone, very wet here in Washington, time and wear. More, yeah, it's just not very nice, is it? It's just not a very nice day. Um, so as I said, I will do, I think everyone's got, there's a lot of love for this pink agate. So shall I go for the pink agate? Now, question, what one means as we get to have a choice? Um, I have got the bronze, uh, the black, the, the sort of pink, uh, the rose gold, I've got gold, <clears throat> champagne gold and silver 
this is the beat i'm gonna i'm gonna do a few because we've got lots of time and i want to show you just how nice and easy this is so i'm actually going to do one with one of the the wavy discs oh this one yeah that's a nice one so i'm gonna um do one with this bead and one with this bead so what shall we go for what color wire everybody um i mean i'm not gonna lie to you i'm edging towards the black myself and oh you could you could rock up we could actually do two-tone so have a little thing what shall i do rose gold from lucy so this one here so this would look lovely rose gold rose gold or black I, should i shake it up and do a bit should i shake it up and use one of each because you can you can totally mix your colors up i like the black nat likes the black okay oh it's equal at the moment we've got two for rose gold two for black i am drawing towards the black i think it's going to look quite um striking so what should we go for because i can always the rose gold might look nice with that one i reckon i reckon i might go for the black love the idea of mixed colors should we do a mixed color should we be rebels let's go mixed colors let's do it let's go for the rose gold and the black let's do this remember that when i'm doing this i'm this is just like my version <laughs> and you can do whatever you want so if you decide that actually you know you want to do four wires or only two that's absolutely your choice um i'm just going to elegantly scoot this off my mat i'm going to move back because this is going to be the next project so i'm going to be wanting some um color ideas for this one I've, i'm going to go for both of these purely because i want to show you the different um how it works on different shapes really both yes black and pink okay do the black something different oh my gosh okay so i'm actually going to go for these two i think this is the rose gold or is that the rose gold oh i think that might be the rose gold let's go for the rose gold i hope that's the pink oh the dilemmas so this is the 0.6 wire um okay so tool wise all you're going to need are your round nose pliers i don't think you really even need round nose pliers to be honest so some chain nose pliers some cutters to cut your wire I'm using my bail making pliers. That's just literally for doing the bail. But anything that you might want to use for this. Good morning. <clears throat> um, so again, you can. Um, I like to use my bail making pliers, but a mandrel or anything that you want to, just for the for the bail. This is optional. So really minimal tools. So what I'm going to do is cut some wire. So I'm going to go for two black and one pink. I think. So let's just. Give me the wire, thank you. So I'm going to say, obviously, as well, that there's always a little bit of variance. So when I say that, you know, I can't say to you how much exactly how much wire you want to um, to cut because it's going to be personal. Um, depends how much decoration you want to do. I just give you what I kind of do. So I would say I would probably take about. So this is a macrame board that I've got down here. So it's probably about my arm's length. I don't know if you can see me in the little window, but my arms are just up to my sort of shoulder. Oh, I have some kind of green on me. Um, just up to my shoulder, so it's probably about. I'm really rubbish with measuring, but probably about a meter. Not even a meter, maybe a meter. So I'm going to do one of those, and then I'm just going to take the wire and do another one. So I'm just measuring it up against one I've just done. So I now have two. And as I said, for me, arm out, I'm trying to get into the camera. Here's my finger, and it's literally just up, just sort of like the very top of my arm. So take another piece of the. So you, I mean, I'm going to use three. I actually use four. I'm going to use four. So I'm going to go, whoops, I'm going to use four. Then you could use three, you can use four. I'm going to use four because I'm using two colours. Okay. And I'm just going to pop these 
in whichever though i'm using black and uh copper <clears throat> or rose gold sorry you can use any color that you want as i said those of you who are jumping in a little bit later if you look on the website you can buy the um individual beads and then obviously the wires the beads are two pound fifty the well they range from one pound seventy five to two fifty the slightly smaller disc ones are 175 these ones are two pound fifty um and then your wires are two pound fifty each and they are the reels of um 0.6 in lots of lovely color choices so i'm just going to put all four of these wires through and again this is what i said is great about using this you might want to put them through separately <laughs> got a bit um optimistic there this does, doesn't always work how you want it to there we go two three you can see how easily they're going through so if you did only want to do um three you could um and sometimes obviously again through holes being different you might only be able to get three wires through but on these ones you can get four so we can have a bit of fun with this there we go we've got and i'm bringing it roughly to the center ish okay so i'm actually going to try and keep the wires the same sort of length so i'm just going to bring them all to the same length on one end again ish there we go so roughly the same here good morning leslie joy okay what i'm going to start off with is again if you've got like a preferred side again each bead is going to be different so you might and again <laughs> i keep saying again um so you know you don't have to do this on both sides you could just do this on one side if you wanted to you could make this so it's reversible so that you have a plain side with no decoration and a river a, a, a sort of decorated side so there are lots and lots of options um have a look at your bead i always advise this and see sometimes there's markings on it that you might want to follow or there might be um a side that you prefer to be the front so just have a little look at your bead and like on this one i love this little splash of soft pink on this side but then look at this pattern here so on this one i might decide to go do you know what i'm going to do a decoration on the back here and then keep this as a plain side also note the direction of the drill hole because that will affect your design because i was holding it like that because that's the way that my eye was drawn to the to the stone but in fact it's actually got the drill hole here so again just little things to sort of look at have a little look at how you're gonna have this worn so i've now taken this one for example and i moved it around and i think if i was doing anything i would do it in this set so i'd have this face in the front and i would have this in this direction rather than this direction so it's just little things like that where you're going to think right okay so my bail is going to go on this this side not this side so just little little moments this one's pretty similar either side again i've got it like this i kind of feel like this is a nice front um so i'm going to and again looking at which direction i feel this looks nice at the bottom so you know little moment just to how we're going to look at this now I've got my wires here and here, so it's about equal. And what I'm going to do, because it's going to be my front uh, and the bottom, I'm just going to bring my wires up and I'm going to just kind of treat them. I'm going to split them into twos and treat them, the, the twos, as if they were one. Okay. So I'm going to smooth these two out of the way for the moment, take these two. And all I'm going to do, in fact, why don't we move these to the back? And that to the front there we go that makes life easier so we've got two for the front and two for the back and we can use both of those to sort of go up and down so just taking this in my hand now this is where i'm going to give you a couple more little tips relax don't overhandle the wire okay this is a lovely soft malleable wire you don't need to overhandle it you see how much minimal contact i'm having with this wire so when i say to do these swirls you'll see that what I'm doing is literally sort of just catching the wire of my hand very gently and I'm just pushing with my finger against the stone. Now, one thing I do want are these two wires to stay flat and swirl together. I don't want them to kind of cross over like this. Hope you get a similar pink one. I'm sure you will start. The whole strands of these are just stunning. 
okay so i'm holding this with my hand you see how i'm just very gently switching from my hand so i'm left i'm right hand dominant so obviously if you're left-handed then you know switch you, you'll be holding it like this um and what i'm doing is i'm just using my left hand just to catch that wire now so i can come back in with my right hand and just gently swirl and again just keeping those wires next to each other you can see how little work i'm doing so I'm just using my hand my thumb's just holding that in place using my hand and again i'm going towards the sort of the top of those wires rather than right down here that's keeping my wires really nice and smooth and not getting kinked or sort of all buckled try not to get stressed with this it's meant to be relaxing so i've got my one little swirl and also little heads up it'll go for a phase of looking a little bit like, uh, but the more you build on it is when it starts to really come to life okay so don't overthink it so again now i'm just going to hold this with my my thumb bringing those wires around sorry my camera leak got caught in then and just gently and you see how i'm just kind of moving the whole piece as opposed to like trying to pull that wire around bringing that around like so and don't over overdo it the first one and it's up to the top and I'm actually going to now wrap this around those wires. So that's locked. That's all we've done. Swirl, swirl, and around. Now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to do the same on the other side because I've got these ones here. Okay. So going around. Like I said, try not to overthink this. But also don't rush it like don't be like go really quick and just bring that up to there and i'm going to wrap that as well and what that's going to do is that's going to give me my wires to go either side but can you see even that actually looks really pretty um and if you did this you would still be able to get a beading thread through that drill hole so you could actually put that onto a beaded necklace if you wanted to <clears throat> okay important part is to get the bail done and out of the way so i've got these wires here and here and i've got these wires here so the reason i'm doing the white the bail now um, and not at the very beginning is purely because i've got these locked so that's given me a bit of a stem so i can i'm not going to make my bail too close to the actual bead i've got four wires here which is perfect i'm going to take my bail making pliers i'm going to come into the larger side because this is a large bead um and then i'm going to just kind of come up a little bit and then just bring this wire around and then and if you can see i'm opening repositioning and kind of rolling to get that bail to be the sort of size i want it to be give it a little wiggle there we go and then i can just bring these wires now i can split them or i can do them as one i think i'm going to do them as one so they're going to come all the way around like a big wrapped loop. And just see how I'm just kind of holding it steady with my hand and my pliers. And I'm able to get a nice grip then. There's my bail. Now I've got all these wires just to have a bit of fun with. So I can kind of go, okay, I want to kind of keep the black and the copper together. I'm going to keep some that side, some, so I've got four on this side, and I can put four on this side. Now, it doesn't matter that there's a slight gap around the bale. Can you see how there's two on there and two on there? Okay, hopefully this is making sense to everybody. Any questions you know you can always just uh, ask. I can see the chat. Okay, dokes. So now we're just going to decorate this up. So I've got my two wires here and here. I'm still keeping them as twos. So I'm just going to now sort of go, okay, how can I? So again, holding it against it and then just gently turning this around. Now, what you do want to do is start to lock it. So can you see how that's I'm tucking that behind that loop? That's going to lock it into place. Literally just sliding that underneath that loop that's already in place. And then the other thing that you can do is you can feed the wires underneath that first um sort of bit of work that we've done so you can see there 
Now you can't see the black so well. I can see it better here to the eye, but because we've gone into that dark part of the stone, it's um, moved a bit, but that's fine. As you can still see the copper. So there we go. A little bit of a wiggle, but she's there and they're locked. And then again, I'm just going to use my finger to push it against there and get that swirl. And we've got that now. And then this is the, the, you have to have a little look and go, okay, can I get all the way back up to the other side? No, but can I get back up to this side? Possibly. So I'm going to, and again, this is why it's very important that I stress to you that each one will be different because your wire lengths will be different. And I would say, if you're happy, use slightly longer wires because it's easier to kind of, um, you know they reduce down very quickly you can see how instantly much more uh, handleable this is this one isn't going to get miles up but i might be able to kind of do a little swirl around here and then maybe we'll come up to a bit of here because we can of course blend the end so again all, all i'm doing is swirling with my hands and then of course i can come under and this is where i might need my chain nose pliers just to lift or to pull that wire so it's catching on that part there that's fine there we go can you see how little i'm actually sort of handling this wire so this is going to be too short now so this is where i can come in um you might grab my round nose pliers and just very gently use it for that little show you what i've just done can you see that little end and see how i've tucked it under remember we've got all these wires here so this will be blended away and hidden okay so just coming to just get rid of this piece now as well and so i'm going to just kind of bring that around like so and just, just tuck that in there so even now that's not secure but this is pretty locked in so the other option i had um is i could have tucked those wires back up into that bale because i've got space that's not always an option that's why i didn't really show that but you could if you've got one of these um agates that have got a lovely drill hole you could put that wire just up into there and that will stay. Okay, so now can you see how instantly just doing that second row is transforming it compared. So I'm going to come into this side now and I'm going to just keep my pairs. If you can, what are you two doing? There we go. And again, so just rotating that around bringing that down you can do some big sweeps you don't have to be loads of swirls and then again just remember we want to try and come under and catch it doesn't have to go under everything just to secure it really it's just going to stop it because if you want to wear this as a lovely you know we were, we were saying like now we've apparently summer is nearly over um and how chunky jumpers or a nice cardigan with that nice long star necklace because you can do this at any length that you want this to be this could just be a really nice long necklace um or to be a little bit you know so it's like chunky jewelry whatever's coming um so we're up to here so i want to try and be careful not to bulk all my wires down to here i want it to look balanced um and again so this black wire i'll show you what i meant with putting it back into the drill hole so this one isn't really going to go far so what i'm going to do is trim this so it's not quite as long and then can you see i'm just taking my pliers and i am simply because it's the black wire obviously i went for the dark wire um and it should be able you see it just went straight back in that hole there and that is oh no didn't get back in that hole and that's because it was dark and I couldn't see it move that one out of the way get that into the 
and to drill a hole. I, I know I've gone out of shot. It's just purely because I need to be able to see it. There we go. It is actually in that hole now. Promise. You push that down. Straight down like so. And then that's another way to get rid of the wire. But as I said, that won't always be an option. It does depend on the bead that you're using and whether or not it has, of course, got that size grill hole. Um, and then with this one, I can just kind of go, OK. And you'll notice that I am literally still going to use the bottom um, as part of the design. You could even do like a swirl along the bottom. You want it to look, you know, like it's all the way across so again now i've got that one so i'm just going to come straight across i'm just going to again let's do a little lift up there we are there we are bring that around bring that around and just you don't always have to swirl it i'm literally just bringing this around up here and then you know if you get to here you think I've just put that straight under those last couple of wires there. And then I can just bring that wire around the top and cut that away. So that is, as I said, is the reason we kept the, um, we did that little wrap around first because it gives you an area. To sort of be able to get rid of your wires and wrap. And that's already, to me, I'm already thinking, I don't know if I want to do much more to that. I really like this side. Um, but this side's got a little bit heavier up here, so I might want to just decorate down here. Another, another <laughs> again, um, another top tip really is you don't have to use all these wires even if you have them. So you might think, oh, I've still got to use these wires, but I like that design. Don't worry, cut them. It's fine. You know, there's no rules. I'm very, very... Um, um, very, very sort of, um, what's the right word? You know, I believe in not making loads of rules to follow. So, um, you know, you could just cut these wires here and here and have done with it nice and easy. Um, you could then come around. So I've got my two wires again now. So I've already, remember we started off with four long pieces of wire. I have already gotten rid of um, two, well, four of them. So I've only got four left and one has been tucked up into there. One's been cut around here and two have been blended into the design here. So you can see that it's not affecting it. So and the other thing to, to remember as well is that you could, of course, think, OK, I'm not sure. So I like this side, but it doesn't mean that I can not play about with this wire. And if I don't like it, I just come back up and undo it. It's just wire advocate that's the word i'm a strong advocate for um you know sort of going with your own instincts as such and sort of doing what you want to do um okay so i want to work on this side so i'm going to come back over to here my camera lead is desperate to get involved today let me just move you out of the way lead there. okay so I can look at this and think, OK, where are we going to go with this? So I know I need to sort of decorate here. So I might hook it straight underneath that, that little loop pad there. So that's going to give it a good start point. And then you don't always have to swirl in the same direction. You know, I can take this wire and swirl it around here because I'm going to lock it in. Um, I don't want it to look exactly the same. So if I didn't like that, because I've been very gentle about the way it's been done, see how easy that was for me to undo that and go, do you know what? I didn't like that. I'm going to go around the other way. So you could do that probably once, but I wouldn't be able to get away with it again because it will see how it starts to kink the wires. And that's why I say to try to handle the wires as minimal as possible. Of course, there are these amazing nylon pliers, which will always help you out if you've um, twisted your wire a little bit. But remember, they also work hard on your wire as well. So don't, again, try not to do that too much. Ah, oh, thank you, Natalie. So I actually want this wire to go in the other direction, and I just think I just did it in the exact same direction again. We're just going to go with it. Sometimes we do things the same way. We have a natural direction. I obviously have a natural direction. So I'm going to just bring that. So what I can do now is I can kind of 
do this. Now, remember, this particular one has already got a lot of work here. So I don't need to go all the way back down again. I can go, OK, cool. I'm just going to bring this back up to here. And I, again, I don't have to do lots of swirls. I can go, OK. So I'm playing about with the placement of those wires. I'm thinking, where can it go? Where do I want this to go? I don't even have to do anything more. I could just blend this into the design. I do feel it needs something here, but I just, hmm. So you see what I mean? So we all have these kind of, I'm going to go back up here. My instinct's saying go back up. So I can kind of do this. I could do another, I don't want to do another little bit. So can you see how I'm almost thinking, right, do I like that? No, I went to do that. I looked, I thought, mm, don't like that. So it's very easy to sort of almost test it out and then not commit to it. So again, coming up to here, I'm going to cut that. And again, you can kind of, can you see how I'm bringing this down? I'm actually going to move it a little bit and play about with it. I can condense it a little bit. I can still, because we're using a nice 0.6, I can still manipulate it a little bit. I've still got a bit of control over that design. Um, you know, and you will always favor one side. I personally prefer this side. Um, but this one is getting better. So I like that now. Now, I'm going to just go ahead now. I'm going to leave these here because I may, may not want to do a spiral. Who knows? I'm pretty sure that they're going to end up being cut. Because when what you have to remember when you're doing a, a reversible pendant as such is that you can't, well, you can, you, but if you put a spiral on one side, ideally you want to put it on the other side as well. So it's completely reversible as opposed to having a spiral on one side and not the other because you will see it. Now, this isn't a spiral on here. It's just a swoop of the wire. But from there, it could be seen as a spiral. So that's what I meant by, you know, um, if you had a spiral on one side, you would see it. And then we've just got this one. Now, I'm quite happy with the way that this one is, but I'm going to see what happens. So, again, I'm going to just kind of bring this around. So, just, so it's got to go from quite a height and down. So, can you see? Morning, Trish. Oh, thank you. So, can you see what I don't want is if I did that, I would have that kind of swoosh. Whereas on the other side, it's been a lot more sort of condensed. So, what I'm going to do is just kind of bring it see if I can wrap it down a bit that sounds a bit crazy but I'm almost going to try and find a way that I can bring it lower so actually perfect little gap just there beauty of a 0.6 wire look how malleable that is how easy that went through for me and look at that she's exactly where it needs to be so it is now I don't have that gap that line <laughs> it's looking great. I think I may have to get them all. Oh, 100 percent now. Oh, stunning. I'm looking at these thinking, wow, look at these beautiful, beautiful stones. Look at this. So I am going to quickly afterwards do this without going through the process as much, just to show you how quick and easy it can be. Obviously, I'm breaking this down step by step for you. So, but these really don't take that long. Um, so I'm going, and again, I'm thinking, okay, I'll just have a little play see what I want to do remember we don't always have to do a swirl so I could just come around here I could just kind of maybe do remember if I don't like this I can come back up and cut it here and I haven't nothing has been changed but actually that could look really pretty but I don't want to cover that too much so let's have a little play about with this so if I did that I would then remember Again, I'm just showing you this is everybody's is going to come out completely different. And that is what I love about it. Look how different this is to this. You know, they're always going to be different. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. So I'm going to come around here. Finish with a swirl. That's come out pretty. Now I have got enough wire, possibly to either come back up to the top here or come up and fill this little bit because I feel it's a little bit wider up here than it is here so I'm actually thinking okay let's just have a little can I do this so 
again just bringing that wire behind all of that you can see it's just behind hi judith no problem i am in a moment going to do a very quick speedy version of this but don't worry the um this version that i'm doing here will be on the uh, channels now i like that now i feel a bit better about that because that's just made that a little bit more balanced for me so if i don't want to interrupt this pattern anymore this is where i can just go okay cool now i probably don't have enough to make it back up to the bale so i can see well i might yeah actually i could oh of course there's somebody at the door there's somebody at the door just bear with me one moment kayla Ooh. sorry about that everyone i had to get the post because i've got a puzzle always exciting always exciting right okay so oh interesting sorry <laughs> sorry about that i am sorry i wouldn't normally do that but i needed i needed to get this because it's my monthly art subscription box and i can't not get that um okay so that wire where did it go there it is just up there and then i've just got one more here um again let's get rid of this so this one's not going to make it quite as far so what i'm going to do is find a way i can blend it in can you see how i just kind of pulled that into there and then i'm going I think the two colours of wire looks great, almost like patina with the contrast. Yeah, Natalie, that you are absolutely right, actually. And do you know what? I think that's the fun. We all sort of, it's nice to play about with mixed colours. We always sort of go, oh, it has to be that one colour. It's not. Right, so that has just been tucked into there. Then I've got three ends here. I don't want to do a spiral at the top. I feel it'll be a little bit too much and it'll take away that reversibility. So I am simply going to this wire has already been wrapped around so i'm going to just kind of trim it a little bit and tuck this into that wire work like so and then i've got this here to just come around and just wrap my uh alice as we call them to not activate them getting involved in stuff she shouldn't have and then just cutting that nice and close into the bale okay and then just that final flourish for me is to open out the bale uh you could do four or into twos i just think that gives it that lovely finish uh let's just we can't see the pink ones in the middle there we go and there you have your finished reversible wire wrapped pendant now before i say it's finished i am that person that just goes okay i'm just going to give it a little sort of test i'm literally flattening it all this is going to help harden it a little bit sort of with just with your hands it's just going to help settle it into place a little bit make sure it's nice and solid and make sure you're happy with that placement um, of where everything is it's settling everything down and most importantly it's telling me that there are no sharp wires anywhere because if you saw how much i was handling that then pushing that and holding it here uh, there's no blood so this i definitely haven't missed anything but i would feel i would feel if there was any um i would feel if there was any uh wires that i had missed or i hadn't gotten into there properly do you remember we have one wire tucked up into there so that's nice and safe there was two that were kind of um spiraled into here they're nice and safe um and that's it hi margaret uh, it looks lovely thank you uh, mina it looks really good with the two color wires it does doesn't it 
um, made it look so flow and I think I'm overthinking this procedure. Yeah, and that's why I kind of came in with all the precautions, like don't overthink it, just enjoy it. Almost think with your hands, so you saw a couple of times that I went, mm, no, and I put it back. So by just pulling that wire, I was like, mm, that's not going to work. Even starting to curl it, mm, that's not going to work. So it's easy to be able to kind of do that. So you can see we've got that there. Now, just for fun, I am super quickly going to open. Um, I'm going to very quickly do this one. Now, um, what wire should we go for? I'm going to be very quick. I think I'm going to keep this one nice and classic with silver. Yeah, I'm going to go nice and easy with some silver. I think that will look nice. Um, and I'm just going to do this really quickly. And I'm going to show you how it's really nice. Obviously, I did that a lot slower. I was talking through the procedure. So I want to show you how it can be really nice and easily done um, start to finish. Also, as I said before, this one, oh, I haven't cut, probably haven't cut quite enough wire off. Let's cut a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I might not be able to get the four wires through. Um, so if you can't, in fact, this will be a good one for me to, to test for you, actually. If you've chosen a bead that you can't get the four wires through, I'll just check it. You should be able to, I think. One, two, just two. Um, let me put this wire through here. Yeah, might not be able to get four through this one. The more I kind of try and push and pull that wire, the more it might give me a bit of a attitude. because it is a finer wire. Well, oh, this one's not playing the game for me. Hmm. Okay. This one is, I'm just, I just change it to this fella here. Let's see how this one goes. Okay. I'll show you it with just two wires when I actually get this sussed out. Ah. Right, I'm going to switch back to one of the others. It will go through, it just needs a bit of time. I'm just, because I'm very um, doing this very quickly, I'm only going to do it nice and quickly here. If you do find that you've got, um, you want to get the other wire through, sometimes just take your pliers and just gently sort of push it through. That will help. But for quick and easiness, I'm just going to go back to one of the bigger beads. Um, I want to just show a bead of attitude. Honestly, um, it was giving me attitude. Now, if you can only get two wires through, what I would say is you do it exactly the same, but you just do it with two wires, but slightly longer. So go with longer wires, because then you'll have that length. Because you saw um, how um, you saw how I could have just done that with two, um, but you would just have to go back and forth a, a few more times. So let me show you. Um, I've done exactly the same, and I'm just going to do this nice and quickly. And I sometimes just will create curves with the wire. If you, um, again, if you only wanted to do one side, you didn't want it to be multi-sided, you could, of course, do it with two and just come straight back down the other side and just go back up and forth. So, you know, there's lots of different ways you can do this. But for easiness, we're going to do this with two wires and you'll see how we can kind of just exactly the same now obviously I'm doing this quick just to show you but you can see that there and swing that around like so remember we may have that not looking great face and that's fine I want to do my bail. I should have done my bail when I had my wire back up there. So that was a mistake on my part. But that's okay. We can get around it. How can I get around it? Bail making pliers. Two wires. Round once. And back around again. And there is 
there is always one show and you're right and you know what that one always comes out when you're on a live stream and everybody's watching you know like thanks for that mate you had to embarrass me um <laughs> so double roll if you forgot to do it at that stage as well so always always an option and then you just continue now what can happen is that's happened because i've just gone straight across so just be sure to catch that and lock it into play oh i like quick makes <laughs> these are great quick makes and they're just coming around and then i'm just going to go under and sort of bring that around a little bit and then over to this side when i come over to this side i can lock that into place again also little side note i'm holding this down in probably a not natural position for me if i was sat at home i would have this in front of me like this and i would be working like this so just remember that i may be making it look a little bit like this because i'm holding it in probably not what would be a natural working position for me all the way up and around now i've ran out of wire oh no what can i do what can we do quick fire question we can have more i'm going to cut and i'm going to cut and actually this looks really pretty just like this all my wires were back up at the top i only had four to get rid of that time because of the um because of the um way that i did it um but and actually it does look really pretty just like that sorry what you getting? can i help you what do you want um, I've got Savannah down by my feet going, Mum, what's the matter? She's feeling neglected. I've been away for the weekend and then I've gotten up this morning and I have not spent time with her. How dare I? Um, very quickly, because we are literally down to three minutes and then uh, that will be my hour. But I can cut another two pieces of wire and I can simply wrap them here. And then I can just literally wrap them there. And then I can continue to build this up. So again, if you don't feel happy working with a really long piece of wire, although I 100% recommend having a go, because if you do, um, it, this is a great project to sort of get comfortable with working with long lengths of wire. So I'm just kind of feeding that through. That one extra piece of wire was all it needed. It, do look, it does look good with just two wires, 100%. What well, it is, we were working with just two wires, but it's just a different approach. Um, it's just to say that, you know, if you do find that your bead can't take sort of four wires, or if you want to do it this way, of course, that's absolutely fine. And then I can do that there. And this is also just to show you that, as I said, everything will come will be different. So I'm happy. Look at that one. Now, because I didn't do so many swirls, it's more um just lots of not not sort of circle swirls just sort of blowy two wires shows gemstone off more um to be honest i very very quickly i got cut off so i'm gonna just end it there but um i'll pop a little picture up for you to see the finished piece but you can see how it works um i, I don't know what happened i got kicked out i don't know why i wasn't at my 10 o'clock yet so it shouldn't have done it um I was like, hmm, I was going to put a message and I thought I'll just jump on quickly. Um, yeah, so you can see, now all I was saying was it's the same effect. What it is is how much work you do with it. So how many times you go up and down that pattern. Um, okay, that one's going there. And just take your time, have a bit of fun um, and see what happens and just enjoy it. But I hope you've enjoyed this live. I hope you've enjoyed this project. I will finish that off and put a picture up. But that's it there that's that one go check out the website because you know you can really pick and mix go for multi colors have some fun with this let me know if you do it i'd love for you to tag me on facebook and share or whatever you want um and i'm back on wednesday i've got some lovely kits we are doing spiral chain mail and we're filling it 
with some micro faceted crystals so it's going to be real great fun nice easy project but effective so thank you for joining me i'm sorry about that little blip i hope you've enjoyed it and uh yeah i will see you all again on wednesday bye everybody